Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our beloved District Supervisor, Mrs. Luz Feminda Berano, our school heads, and fellow teachers in Ongos Integrated National High School. Greeting you all a pleasant and blessed morning. We urge everyone to lend our ears and focus our minds on the presentation and as much as possible, refrain from using the phone during discussions. Thank you. From the Senior High School Department of Ungos Integrated National High School, we proudly present to you our Project 2N AIP or the New Normal Appropriate Instructional Practices for the first quarter of academic year 2020 to 2021. Technology unlocks the potential of almost everything. As innovations require a much higher level of processes, technology cannot be disregarded as its propeller. From a simple chalk and board discussion to the one with a PowerPoint presentation, and from a face-to-face -face setup of conversation to the so-called online teleconferencing, it is now the mindset of everyone to always connect technology with innovation. This is how Ongos Integrated National High School Senior High School Department gives much attention. The processes they employ to the learners with its different projects supporting the digital transformation journey of the whole institution. As the school year 2020-2021 begun, the SHS department firstly addressed the problem of enrollment. Since most of the learners are scattered from different barangays of Real and very impossible to reach out with the usual face-to-face -face setup due to the pandemic, they decided to use an online registration system in the form of a website. With its capability to handle promotional materials and at the same time to accept the registration of learners, the senior high school never experiences any hard time letting the clientele know what programs does the school have and how the process will go pertaining to the learner's enrollment or registration. The online registration system also has a database that can be viewed and monitored by anyone who has its password, which appears very relevant and timely, especially if updates are needed to be done by the school head and LIS coordinator. From the enrollment of learners up to the assessment and monitoring of their progress, the senior high school department never doubts to use and apply technology as an innovative approach to battle the challenges in education brought by the pandemic COVID-19. As the search for 2NAIP is the new normal appropriate instructional practices started, the division-wide project went down to our school through a memorandum circular number 368 series of 2020 requiring our school to submit an entry. Her ever-dynamic school principal, Mrs. Yuleni R. Portales, spearheaded a double-bladed activity to strategically collect pieces of evidence and at the same time promote a sense of cooperativeness and urgency to all teachers in every department. On January 19, 2020, by positively looking at the potential contribution of each teacher, Mrs. Portales confidently launched a departmentalized project of 2N AIP. Immediately after the launch, Mrs. Ramily R. Arante, SHS coordinator, called for a meeting. She believes that this is now the opportunity to show off how the SHS department took care of the learners by employing every possible strategy to let them attain the learning continuity amidst the situation we are facing today. The succeeding pages provides proofs or pieces of evidence of the senior high school accomplishment based on different indicators following the eight M's of teaching, namely milieu, matter, method, materials, media, motivations, mastery, and measurement. For our first area of concern, which is milieu, these are the indicators. First, 
the learning space is free from distractions. Second, the learning space is well lighted. Third, the learning space is well ventilated. Fourth, the parent or guardian guides the learner in doing his or her school works. Fifth, the instructional materials is delivered on time and are ready for learner's utilization. Six, other relevant learning materials such as ruler, pencil, ball pin, calculator, protractor, etc. are readily available to the learner. Seven, routine activities are strictly carried out by the learners. Eight, learner is consulted as regard with his or her problem on learning environment. Nine, learner is provided with the needed assistance. And ten, corrective measure is imposed to the learner who deviates from the standard set by the teacher, parent, or guardian. The school has installed fully functional CCTVs that help to see all activities taking place within the premises. This is part of several security measures to avoid incidents happening on school premises during and after school hours. Aside from the CCTV system, the school also has two security guards that give all teachers the peace of mind and safety that they need during school hours. Every SHS teacher weekly prepares all the self-learning modules, learning activity sheets, and answer sheets and distribute them every Monday to all our senior high school learners. With a partnership that the school has with the different barangays, assigned teachers travel there to deliver all self-learning modules placed in envelopes. Soft copies of learning activity sheets are also sent to our learners who have their own gadgets and have access to the internet. Once the learners receive their self-learning modules, their parents or guardians guide them in studying and answering their lessons. The class advisors also visit their student from time to time to see how they cope up with the modular learning modality. If a learner experiences a difficulty in learning his or her lessons, all teachers conduct a meeting to discuss a strategy on how to help the learners. Since face-to-face -face learning is not possible due to COVID-19 pandemic, SHS teachers use online or offline platforms such as Facebook, Messenger, Gmail, text message, and more. To be always available whenever our learners have concerns regarding their lessons. This strategy greatly helps our learners, especially if there is no one at home who helps them with their lessons. It also brought a good result to us because 23 learners received certificates of excellence for being with honors during the first quarter of the first semester. Studying at home can draw factors that hinder or delay our learners to work on with their self-learning modules. Some of these factors are poor reading comprehension, family problem, gadget addiction, part-time jobs, and the like. These also bring discouragement to our learners and decide to stop studying. However, our SHS teacher are always getting in touch with the students to give them the support that they need. They also interview the parents or guardians and work hand in hand for the welfare of their children. Matter is our second area of concern, and these are the indicators. First, the learning content is anchored on the milks. Second, unpacking milks is done in order to ensure attainment. Third, fusion of milks is made to simplify learner's work. Fourth, mastery of content is given importance rather than completion of curriculum coverage. Fifth, remedial activity is provided to slow learners. Sixth, enrichment activity is offered to deepen learners' understanding of the content. Seven, students' work outputs for submission are not too much or too soon. Eighth, the learner tasks relative to the content are realistic. Nine, the learner activity provided to the students are responsible to the needs of the family and the community. And last, the content 
bear significance to the learner's holistic formation. To ensure the mastery of the lessons among our learners, all SHS teachers have their own copy of the most essential learning competencies and budget of work as the references in preparing idea lesson exemplar, weekly home learning plan, and lesson presentations. Teachers print out copies of the weekly home learning plan and distribute them to each learner along with the self-learning modules. Enrichment activities are also given to them to deepen their understanding of the lessons. Before the start of the school year 2020 to 2021, senior high school teachers conducted a LAC session on maximizing the use of Google Forms. They were trained to give quizzes online together with an online certificate once the learner passes it. With this strategy, the teachers are able to recognize each accomplishment that the learners make. Receiving these online certificates makes the learner to positively continue studying their self-learning modules. Senior high school teachers encourage their students to use online platforms in making and submitting their outputs. In this way, face-to-face -face interaction will be lessened an immediate response and evaluation could be given to them. They also use a variety of assessment tools and strategies. Students who don't have a smartphone are allowed to take the paper and pencil test, while those who have are advised to take the online test. The third area of concern is the method, and these are the indicators. First, the strategy employed by the teachers is purposeful and well planned. Second, the strategy used by the teacher is responsive to the needs of the learners in difficult situation. Third, the strategy used by the teachers lead the learners to attainment of the indicated most essential learning competencies. Fourth, the strategy utilized by the teacher is normal appropriate. Fifth, the strategy used by the teachers helps the school bring about the desired learning outcome. Sixth, the teacher used varied strategies depending upon the nature of the learners. Seventh, the strategy is appropriate to the level of maturity and sophistication of the learners. Eighth, the strategy used by the teacher is adequate to attain the desired learning outcomes. Nine. The learning is instructed properly how to accomplish efficiently the learning activities without hassle. And last, the strategy used by the teacher is economical in terms of time, effort, and expense. Online technology can be the easiest way of delivering and accessing the content of lessons. But since not all students are capable of having it, the senior high school teachers always on the go to do some adjustments and ensure that no one of their students will be left behind. The result of the survey conducted during the enrollment shows that more than 90% of the total population of senior high school students have smartphones. This gives the senior high school teachers an idea of using online tools as a strategy for assessing the learners. With the use of the exam reader application and smartphone free data, each student successfully sent the answer sheet to their teacher. Those who are capable of at least 10 peso load decide to go with an online platform wherein the link is posted and can be accessed in their messenger group conversation chat room. The result of the survey conducted during the enrollment shows that the home visitation conducted by the teachers gives them a way to explain not only to students but most especially to their parents on how will they be graded using different assessment strategies and platforms and of course the minimum amount of load needed on their smartphone to access the assessment link. 
this strategy is not only beneficial to the learners but also to the teachers because they can immediately identify the weaknesses of each learner and be able to provide them the needed attention. Now let's proceed with the fourth area of concern which is the materials and these are the indicators. First, learners are properly oriented with the learning resources available in the locality. Second, the school ensures the availability of resources for the use of the learners. Third, the teachers use quality assured learning materials. Fourth, human resources are considered potential source of knowledge, values, and skills. Fifth, the materials prescribed by teachers for learners' utilization help the students in understanding the real world they live in. Six, instructional materials prescribed by teachers for utilization of the learners explain reality. Seven, to portray reality, teachers use materials that allow the learners to have a direct experience of things they read, hear, or observe. Eight, to portray reality, Teachers require the learners to produce an output relevant to the concept learned. 9. To portray reality, teachers abstraction using creative presentations such as graphics. And last, to ensure the correct utilization of materials, clear instruction is provided to the learners. The school, from its available fund, was able to reproduce the learning modules and prepare the distribution schedule to deliver these modules to the learners in every borok in each barangay without compromising the health and safety protocol set by the IATF. With the proper guidance and clear instruction, the learners were able to produce results in a real-time scenario with the use of the available materials. Human resource is also one of the important factors needed to attain the successful delivery of learning materials to the students in every barangay or purok. This is done by the senior high school teachers through a partnership with the barangay officials with their education committee's chairperson and the barangay captain. The above pictures also show how clear instruction is given to the learners using printed materials and through group account and messenger. This serves as a guide to them in accomplishing their learning tasks. Following the weekly home learning plan, the students were able to produce and submit their outputs using the platform most convenient to them. The video outputs were compiled by the subject teacher and graded based on the given rubrics. This also provides clear proof that the learners were able to produce outputs relevant to the concept learned from the lessons. Different communication channels were used by the senior high school teachers to ensure that the learning continuity plan takes place on the learner's side. They opened the communication to parents for the purpose of doing a follow-up and to show them that the teachers are also concerned with the academic welfare of their children. The school also used different channels of communication like messenger group chat, email account, and even Zoom application for teachers teleconferencing. With this, each and everyone gets updated with the current happenings in the senior high school department and the accomplishment of reports needed to be submitted, like the weekly home learning plan, alternative work arrangement, and other important documents needed for consolidation. The school also assigned Dep Ed Tayo FB page administrator to be responsible for the proper use of the school's official Facebook page account. Teachers recognize the work of their learners in different subject areas to motivate them to continue learning on self-paced. If a learner faces difficulties in accomplishing the learning activity tasks, teachers, if needed, do home visitations to address the needs of the learners. Though the school implements the modular learning modality, it does not limit the use of other tools to reach out the learners to communicate with them at ease. The learning delivery modality training 
train the teachers to unpack the most essential learning competencies provided by the Department of Education. It is important to touch all the necessary skills or competencies before teaching the ones that are in the most essential learning competencies. This strategy helps the learners to prepare themselves to develop and master the new skill or competency. Learning in the new normal should not be a hindrance in unleashing the student's potential, just like in the face-to-face -face classes. From the pictures presented, learners still showcase their creativity, talent, and critical thinking skills despite learning on their own pace. Giving assessment to the learners is one of the challenges of the new normal. Surprisingly, today's situation makes the teachers creative and efficient in reaching out to their learners. With the use of online platforms and applications, such as Google Forms and Exam Reader, the teachers are able to assess and evaluate the learner's performance. When a learner fails an examination, the teachers take action by preparing an individual learner monitoring plan so the learner will not be left behind of his or her classmates. For the last area of concern, we have measurement, and these are the indicators. First, the school uses the Pivot 4A budget of work in ensuring that the most essential learning competencies prescribed by the Department of Education is followed. Second, proof of mastery of the most essential learning competency are kept in the school. Third, report on interventions provided to the learners needing assistance is made available in the school. Fourth, students' reflections that are suggestive of mastery of the contents spelled out in the Pivot 4A budget of work should be in place for validation purposes. And fifth, the school has an effective system of monitoring and evaluation of the learner's mastery of the contents. Just like in the face-to-face -face setup, proofs of mastery are kept and used as a reference to identify the areas that the learners need to improve. Once the assessment results are out, teachers take actions by using different communication channels to give feedback and updates to their learners. This strategy also helps the learners to monitor their own progress. Assessing learners' performance in the new normal brings challenges to the teachers, especially in checking their outputs. This is the reason why senior high school teachers utilize technology to help improve the efficiency of checking and providing feedback to the learners. This strategy is not just about checking their outputs, but recognizing and rewarding those learners who showed exemplary performance despite of the limited tools they have for learning. It is a way of appreciating efforts to continue education in our present situation. Due to the pandemic, going out has become limited to protect the safety of everyone. As for the field of education, learners and parents face challenges on how they can reach out and continue learners' education. To address this concern, the school, through the collaborative effort of all teachers, delivers the needed learners' learning materials to their places of residence following the minimum health standard practices. Making partnership with the local barangays is a huge help in distributing learners' materials utilizing the funds the school has. The availability of learning materials for learners is one of the challenges faced by the teachers in the new normal. Modules may not be available in some subjects immediately, so the teachers contextualize lessons following the most essential learning competencies provided by DepEd to provide the lessons needed by the learners in a different and creative way, making it really interactive despite the school using only modular distance setup. Assessing the least learned competencies is still evident even in the implementation of education in the new normal. 
Learners on a self-learning pace still receives the most essential competencies needed to finish their basic education requirement. Items were analyzed so that it can be used as a reference on how to address the learning competencies that needs improvement and what strategy should be used in providing lessons and instructions to learners. This year is indeed a tough one. We face difficult situations, not only in our lives, but especially to the work that we used to do. Most of us saw it as a problem, but in changing our perspectives, we can challenge ourselves to find solutions and provide innovations towards the work that we do. We can always find ways to a seemingly impossible task. As Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it is done. We hope that you are inspired and motivated with the ideas that we have shared today. Thank you and have a great day.